Hello! Again, Alexandra. We have begun our turn again. We are in the midst of it. Um, we are now taking more and more turns online and kind of videoing after the fact, partially because we created a um, chat room in part to facilitate the, um, the speeding up of the turn flow. We don't have to wait until we video in order to take a turn. Um, in this case, we, we started even though we didn't really have to because um, Mimim, ex uh, that's the Hobbit Lord, he informed us that he's not taking a turn until tonight. And so we started our turn because it just, well, partially because we needed to draw a card and um, it, it helps to, to do that when Pablo is available. Um, and, you know, we just kind of knew what we, were, we needed to do, what we wanted to do. There's a little bit of discussion that went on in the, the chat room about it. Um, I think the proposal that actually went forward was Cowboys, which was interesting. Cowboy is generally silent on things, but I think he's his heart has taken a turn since the loss of Pegasus. He he really uh, I don't know what she means to him. Maybe she reminds him of someone or what. But um, he takes takes the words to heart, uh, what uh, Pegasus will to heart, and and he also likes to gamble a little bit. So anyway. The upshot is the, the group had a decision to make. They, they could either take a resource extraction card in order to shoot again at biofuels, or else um, try to work slowly on the fecundity. The, the demography is looking bad. There's one in the in, in innovation track and three showing in the population track, which gives us 60 or 33 percent chance of going into chaos. Uh, there was no way to really change that, no matter what action we could do. We could do silverback, which gives us a plus two, to our stability role, but that would also move a couple cubes up, which would make our population track five, uh, which would you know we'd still have to we still have a 33 percent chance of going into chaos, and it would be even harder to recover from that. Silverback's kind of like a drug; you have to keep using it in order to keep um, benefiting, and eventually it'll catch up to you. Um, and so that didn't seem like a good idea, uh, and so. What, what Cowboy proposed was to just draw a card, because the other option was to try to get into Era 2 with everyone else where they're, um, where they're able to talk and where they're able to discuss. Wolf has made it there. Um, and we were kind of a little bit, uh, I don't know the right word, but we didn't really want to go into Era 2 right away, partially because we were trying to get that that uh, agriculture domestication, it's somewhat ironic, I think, that we ended up actually doing it with a card, not with our natural ability that we get for not being fully developed. Um, but also, because we didn't really want to join the club. I don't know, it felt like any club that that um, is designed, uh, I mean, it, it, it brings a group together, but it also brings a group out. and you lose some sort of control over your own destiny and having to join a group um, just so that you no longer get punished for not being a part of that group. I don't know. Um, there was a little bit of rebellion in there through that. And so we ended up drawing a card um, to see if that would be a good way to move forward. There's several cards that uh, encephalize the language areas of the brain. Our other option would have been to just remove it, flush really didn't want to do that um, because if you just remove it you automatically go into chaos and if you looked at the board right now you would see there are two flush cities and one place where cowboys on the range uh, by the biofuel we don't want to lose that spot because if we do that um, one we lose our shot at getting our resource up even though we didn't take that shot this turn it's still a good option in the future and two because then the hobbit lord minimum is going to jump on there he's waiting in hawaii for someone to move so that he can jump in and that would not be good either because he would just trounce all over us because that's how he, he wants to do it. Um, and so that's where we are. Uh, we, we went ahead and drew the card to, uh, to, to make use of Pablo's presence. And then we rolled our chaos and we did not go into chaos. So then we made a move. Um, a new unit ap appeared outside of the island paradise and it seems like that unit has got to be the replacement for... Um, Pegasus. Now, the, which takes us back in outer space, the crew of the Pobuckland Wren has finally chosen what sort of profession they want to use for their um, their new crew member, and they chose an engineer, which made sense. They didn't have any, they only had one engineer out of a crew of nine and a lot of engines. So, let's take a look at our board here. If you remember the Picrocaline Wars, we had assigned people um, negative scores and um, 
and occupations. So the two engi engineers we have up there, I don't know if you can read my handwriting, are Watermelon and Chappie. Watermelon got one vote against her actually uh, by Chappie. He wasn't doing this strategically. He voted against Watermelon because she didn't seem like she was very involved in the war effort. She kind of sat, sat, sat back and let everyone else do everything. And so she got dinged. And that's actually going to make Chappie our new um, member of the group. Now this spot that Chappie occupies I think is going to be, and maybe all of them, are going to be very contingent on um, what happens with the Publucklin Wren. You know, if a crew member uh, leaves for some reason now, I think they're going to be out, and whoever replaces them will be um, the new sort of subcultural entity that is um, responsible for the Origins game. I had wanted to go with a whale for Chappie's um, figurine, but because I, I, I thought the way that the whale uh, gulped up its food and gulped up the water as it as it went forward was was fitting with the way that he uh, attacks life in large gulps and how the whale sometimes ends up um, gasping for air because of its huge size also fit him uh, his debt um, which is sort of the nearest corollary to our more fiscally oriented world uh, the whale figures are too big for the map, however, so I went with the pig. Which is not to say that I think that Chappie is a pig at all, um, but pigs gulp. It's still not quite as good of a corlo area, but you know, I bet if you gulp enough you can still um, suffocate on what you're eating. I think pigs kind of get a bad rap because we know them from um, from the domesticated versions. You know, they they roll around in mud, but that's to keep cool. If we gave them water, they would much rather have that, or so I'm told. But a pig in the wild does charge forward, and that is um, a way Chappie plays. Chappie's a very easy character for me to play. Um, he lives on the edge. I, it's, it, there's very little ambiguity in terms of making decisions for him. Not a lot of choices right now, though. <coughs> um, so, Flush sent Chappie here. There's nowhere else he can really go. He could send off another population unit. Uh, there's not really a good reason for that. We can't get to the possessive man spate, uh, um, cities, which would be nice to savvy and raid him because he has a card that lets us keep our eye, which is nice for us. Um, but no, instead we're gonna have to we're gonna have to savvy and raid from the Hobbit Lord. <coughs> Still gives us a fecundity decrease, which is better than nothing. Let's take another uh, a look at what's going on in the rest of the world. <laughs> we spent a lot of time just talking about our esoterica. Um, so the Hobbit Lord is spreading out. Looks like he's trying to go into chaos soon. We'll see. Um, uh, let's see, um, USR Local, he's very diminished. I think he's he's gone into chaos three turns in a row, so he's down to New Funk City. Um, bright side for that is he can't, he's not going to lose New Funk City <laughs> um, due to chaos anyway. And probably not otherwise. He's got a three footprint there, which is a pretty decent defense. Um, and you can't, it, since you round up when you when you do the, the halving calculation for uh, chaos, if you have one, you're not going to lose anything. Um, possessive man is really being possessive. Look at that. Uh, he is. He. It's. Uh, it's a world of Christmas. Uh, I've always said that Christmas is a fungus, and this. Um, this adds evidence to that hypothesis. If you look at the way that red and green are spreading across the board, uh, he even took over Roma here. Um, definitely seems to be the player who's least shy about taking from other people, which is okay, that is part of the game. Blue and white. 